things. Mrs. Belcher here with my best doggy pals, Bosco and Mandy, who's joining us for the first time. So today is Thursday, November the 19th, and we are so happy to be talking to all of you today. And we hope everyone has a wonderful day. So today we have one Mustang birthday to celebrate. Memphis Spencer in kindergarten is partying today. So happy birthday, Memphis. And we hope your day is absolutely amazing. Now, since we will not be here next week, I'm going to go ahead and start announcing some of next week's birthdays. So on next Monday, November the 23rd, we have four birthdays. First up is Apple Blevins in the fourth grade. She's having a birthday next Monday. So happy early birthday to you, Apple, and we hope you have a great time next week. Next, also on the 23rd, is Skylet Coleman, also in the fourth grade. Happy early birthday to you as well, Skylet, and we hope that you will have a fabulous day next week on your birthday. Also celebrating next Monday on the 23rd is Brayden Powers in kindergarten. So happy early birthday to you too, Brayden, and we hope that your birthday will be over the top awesome. And last but not least, Having a birthday next Monday on November 23rd is Devin Shipley in the fifth grade. So happy early birthday to you too, Devin. And we hope your birthday is amazing next Monday. Our next birthday we want to celebrate early is Caleb Rutherford, also in the fifth grade. His birthday is next Tuesday on November the 24th. So happy early birthday to you too, Caleb, and we hope your day will be perfectly splendid. Now, tomorrow I will announce tomorrow's birthday and those having birthdays over the coming weekend on Saturday and Sunday, as well as the rest of the birthdays for next week. So lunch for today will be macaroni and cheese, garlic breadstick, steamed broccoli, fresh baby carrot sticks, fresh fruit, and your choice of milk. Tomorrow for lunch, if you are a hybrid B-Day student in fourth or fifth grade who didn't get to have Thanksgiving dinner with us on Tuesday, you're having your Thanksgiving lunch tomorrow. Everybody else who's already gotten to have their, their Thanksgiving lunch on Tuesday you will be having something different. And I'm not exactly sure what that will be just yet. But so if you already had Thanksgiving lunch on Tuesday, you'll be having something different in the cafeteria tomorrow. If you are a um, if you are B day students in fourth or fifth grade and you have not gotten to have your Thanksgiving lunch, you will be having Thanksgiving lunch tomorrow. And I will tell you, after having it on Tuesday with everyone else, it's fantastic. It's a lot of food, so be ready to chow down and get full. It is wonderful. A big thank you to our cafeteria workers for putting it all together for all of us. Next week, the meal pickup schedule is different. So I need everyone's attention. I've been announcing this the last couple of days. And um, next week, since school is closed on Wednesday, that would be our normal pickup day. Since schools are closed on Wednesday, meal pickup day is on Monday, November the 23rd. The time is different too. You will be picking up your meals between three o'clock and six o'clock next Monday, November the 23rd. Okay, so next week meal pickup is on Monday, November the 23rd between 3 p.m. and 6 p.m. 
Remember, Mustangs, that next Monday and Tuesday are remote learning days for all students, pre-K through five. So that does not mean that next Monday and Tuesday are let's be lazy and forget about school days, okay? Remember, just because you are not at school does not mean you are not in school. So you will be responsible for your assignments next Monday and Tuesday, okay? There's still school days. You're just remote learning from home on those days. So I'm counting on you to be responsible Mustang citizens, and I know all the teachers are counting on you to be responsible Mustang citizens too, okay? All right, Mustangs, it's time for the daily gratitude challenge. So listen up. Here we go. Okay, Mustangs. So today's challenge is to think about your favorite seasons. You know, like fall, winter, spring, or summer. And then think about why that is your favorite season. What about that season makes it special for you? And then to be thankful for those reasons. My favorite season probably fall. There are things I like about all the seasons, trust me, especially summer. But I think if I had to pick one favorite, I'd have to say fall, or at least the early fall, before it gets too cold outside. I love fall because the temperature does start to cool down, so it's a great time to have cookouts, or um, to gather around a campfire. Um, it's a great time for fishing, or catching a football game, or a cross country meet, or another fall sport. And the leaves are so beautiful, and it's a perfect time for soup, and chili, and pumpkin spice. So fall makes me happy, and I'm thankful for everything that fall has to offer. How about you? What's your favorite season? The challenge today is to think about why a season like fall, winter, spring, or summer is your favorite and to be thankful for those things that make that season your favorite season of all. Just like I did with fall. Now, teachers, if you have any announcements or shout outs or Mustang Awards or want to show something cool that's happening in your classroom or at home with your virtual students, just let me know and I'll get it on the announcements for you. Now, I'm going to shuffle up to my little corner if everyone will please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. That's all for now, Mustangs. Everyone have a thrilling, thoughtful Thursday. And as always, be excellent to each other. And we will see you next time.